five, four, three, two, ooh, 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 ooh. live with Lily. <laughs> I bet you didn't recognize me with my costume on, but it's truly me. And welcome to another incredible, awesome, and unbelievable spooky episode of Live with Lily. <laughs> That's me. Oh, gosh, it sure is great to see you all again. I mean, it's been a month since I saw you last. You're looking great, by the way. <laughs> and, and I'm super glad that you're joining me on my absolute favorite month of the year, October. It's a time to be grateful for sure. And I hope you ate a lot of yummy food on Thanksgiving. Um, but do you know why I love October? Other than being grateful, well, I love it because it's the season autumn. You know, summer, winter, spring, autumn. Well, I love autumn because I love seeing all the trees on, on, and the leaves on the trees falling down to the ground. And, and I love seeing them change. Here, here, I got a leaf for you. Uh, yeah, it's a really big leaf. Oh, it's one of my favorites. It's a red leaf and I love seeing the leaves change color it's so beautiful yeah and i love i love drinking hot apple cider with my mom outside and i, I love i love halloween and carving pumpkins and oh, and i love dressing up too <laughs> so much fun yeah i think i'm dressed up today as the purple park ranger who loves Spiders. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> anyway, oh, another thing I love to do is I love baking lots of yummy treats and I do it with my dad. We do a ton of stuff together. And speaking of baking, I have a friend who absolutely loves to bake. And she said she, she might be able to share one of her favorite recipes with us. I wonder if Jacqueline's available. Right now, let's see. Jacqueline, oh, Jacqueline. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. Um, Sorry, it said my friend Lily was calling me. Is Lily there? Jacqueline, Jacqueline, it's me. I'm just wearing a costume. It's Lily. <laughs> Lily, I didn't even recognize you with that amazing costume on. Oh, I'm so happy that you called. It's so good to see you again. And hi to all of you out there, too. <laughs> Lily, oh, you just yeah. got me in the middle of baking. Perfect timing. Oh, great, great, great. Well, uh, I just knew that you would be baking, Jacqueline. And um, uh, I'm glad that you recognize me with my costume on and all. But I was hoping that maybe today you could share with me and my friends out there your recipe. Would that be OK? Oh, Lily, I would love to. You know I love baking, and like I said, you've come at the perfect time, so why don't we get started? Okay, I'm just going to take my costume off just a second. I'm going to take my hat. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh, everybody, hey, wait. Do, do you guys see something? <clears throat> do, do you guys see something behind Jacqueline? You do? What is it? You're right. It's a purple pumpkin behind you, Jacqueline. <laughs> That's right, Lily. And I am so glad that you noticed. So I don't know about you, but Halloween is my absolute favorite. And I have painted my pumpkin purple this year for something very special. And it's called the Purple Pumpkin Project. Wow. Well, it looks positively perfect and stunningly spectacular. You did a wonderful job, Jacqueline. Oh, thank you so much, Lily. Um, so my friends and myself at Epilepsy Toronto, we celebrate this month by participating in the Purple Pumpkin Project. It's so much fun. 
Oh, that's awesome. I mean, I love painting my pumpkin purple too, but, but Jacqueline. Yeah, Louise. Can you remind me what the purple pumpkin project is and why we paint our pumpkins purple? That's a lot <laughs> of, of peace. Course. <laughs> it is it is a lot of bees of course lily i would love to tell you all about it so how about i tell you a little bit about the purple pumpkin project while i share with you one of my favorite recipes does that sound all right with you oh, amazing it's one of the best things gosh i've got the best of both worlds snacks and purple pumpkins exactly so first things first when we're baking, make sure that you have an adult around so that they can help you out and keep you safe, okay? Oh, okay, good. Uh, my dad and I bake together all time, always, and it's way more fun to do it with someone. Um, right, dad, is that right? Yeah, he's nodding. He's reading a book right now. <laughs> okay, that's perfect, Lily. So let's see if you can guess what I'm gonna be making today with the list of follow the following ingredients, okay? So okay. here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need flour, sugar, one egg, butter, baking soda, salt, vanilla, and some chocolate chips. So do you have any guesses about what I'm gonna be making? Wow, first of all, it sounds delicious, but what I know is that when we're baking sweet treats, you usually need sugar and flour, right? And uh, uh, oh, every good recipe needs a bit of vanilla. You're right. All right. Let me give you a hint, okay? So okay. the chocolate chips are my favorite ingredient. Wait a minute. Chocolate chips. Are you going to make chocolate chip cookies? <laughs> That's right, Lily. Chocolate chip cookies are my favorite. The best part is you can swap out the chocolate chips for anything you want. So sometimes I'll use dried fruit or I'll even crush up some other chocolate candies like Smarties and put those in there. But uh, I think today we're just going to stick with the chocolate chips. Oh, that's a classic. I love it. I love chocolate chip cookies too. I, I've made the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies with my dad. They're kind of different, eh? Oh, that sounds so good. I've never had those before, Lily. Um, but all right, let's get, uh, let's get this party started. What you want to do is, first, we start with the butter. I got some back here. And you want it to be melted butter, so it kind of looks like butter soup. All right. <laughs> butter soup. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think I'd like butter soup. <laughs> but um, 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 Jacqueline, can, can I, I was just wondering, uh, while you're getting started, can you put the recipe in the comment section of the video for, for me to make and my friends to make after school? Oh, okay. thanks, Lily. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. These would be actually a perfect treat for when you're at school. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this butter soup and put it into a bowl with the sugar and mix it all together, okay? Oh, yahoo! <laughs> mix a mix a mix away! Here we go. Okay, awesome. <laughs> all right, so this is gonna take a minute to all mix together. You want it to mix all, all nice. Um, so I was thinking, maybe while we mix, this would be a good time to talk about the Purple Pumpkin Project. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Great idea, Jacqueline. Okay, I'm gonna sit back and relax. <sighs> all right, you relax, Lily. <laughs> so the Purple Pumpkin Project started all the way back in 2012 by a man named Ron LaMontagna in Connecticut, and that's in the United States. So Ron's son was living with epilepsy and he wanted to find a way to raise awareness about epilepsy. And he was brainstorming how to do this while he drove past a pumpkin patch. And then the idea of the Purple Pumpkin Project was born. Wow, incredible. I love that. Yeah, that's right, Lily. And so he thought that he, if he painted his pumpkins purple, other people would ask him why he painted his pumpkins purple. And that would give him a chance to talk about epilepsy and raise some awareness. 
Wow. Oh gosh, that's cool, Jacqueline. I mean, I always, I always take the opportunity to talk to people about what it's like to live with epilepsy. And, uh, and I love purple and I love Halloween. So it sounds like that's the perfect idea to me. Right, exactly. Um, so when all of us at Epilepsy Toronto and we heard about this awesome idea, we decided to bring the Purple Pumpkin Project here to Canada. Oh, amazing. I think I kind of remembered that, but I'm so glad you told me because at Epilepsy Toronto, it's kind of like the purple day that we celebrate in the spring and oh, the purple walk in the summer. And now we've got the spooky Halloween way of talking about living with epilepsy in October. Yeah, that's right, Lily. It's, a, it's another way we can raise awareness about epilepsy. Right, so when we paint our pumpkins purple and we ask, and people ask us why they're purple, we can tell them that we're supporting people living with epilepsy. Yeah, that's right. And, and you could share something you know about epilepsy or tell them about your own experiences with epilepsy, or maybe you can even teach them something about seizure first aid. Wow, seizure first aid. Oh, right, right, right. I, I remember last time um, I talked with my friend Fatima uh, about on, on Live with Lily and we talked about seizure first aid there. That's, that's exactly it, Lily, yeah. And uh, we can even encourage them to paint a pumpkin purple too. So do you think Fatima would wanna paint a purple pumpkin this year? Wow, um, yeah, I think that's an amazing idea. I'm gonna ask her. I think Fatima would love to. She loves painting and she likes purple like me too. <laughs> that sounds great, all right. So my bowl is starting to look a little bit more like cookie dough here, which tells me that I think it's time to stop mixing and we're halfway done making our cookies. So now that the dough is all nice and creamy, let's add some vanilla and one egg, okay? Oh, an egg. Oh, oh, look, I have an egg here too. Just a second. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh wow. It looks like it's all disappearing and it's becoming part of the dough, right? It's kind of just like magic. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's just like magic. <laughs> so I have to keep mixing here and make sure it's perfectly blended. And uh, hey, Lily, have you picked out the pumpkin that you're going to paint this year yet? Oh, I haven't yet. Um, my mom and I are going to our favorite pumpkin patch this weekend. I can't wait. Ah, that sounds like so much fun. I know that you will pick the perfect pumpkin to paint for the Purple Pumpkin Project. Wow. <laughs> I think that could be a new tongue twister. Let's try it together, okay? Okay. Pick the perfect pick pumpkin to paint for the Purple Pumpkin Project. <laughs> okay, now, okay, let me try. Pick the purple, no, the perfect pumpkin to purpley pick the, the pumpkin on the project. Ah! I think I need to practice a little one. <laughs> it's, it's a tough one, Lily. <laughs> All right, so our cookie dough is coming along here. Now it's time to add the flour, the baking soda, and a little bit of salt to our cookies and we have to mix all that together, okay? So let okay. me just grab that, put it in there. You're working hard, Jacqueline. Uh, I'm working at the sweat, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> You're <glistening. Okay. laughs> You know what, Lily? I was thinking about when you paint your pumpkin, um, just to note, make sure you leave the bottom or that you don't leave the bottom or the top of your pumpkin wet with paint, okay? Um, well, why? Would that be a bad thing, Jacqueline? Well, it could make your pumpkin rot or go bad quicker. And we want to make sure that our purple pumpkins are perfect for Halloween, right? You're good with the peas. Yeah, that's positively a perfect tip, Jacqueline. <laughs> and uh, that's a good idea. And I like to use, um, just a sec, dad, dad, what is the paint that we use? What is it called that we use to, to paint our pumpkins? What? Oh, oh. okay, thanks. I think the paint that 
that we use. It's called acrylic. acrylic. Yeah, that's it, Lily. That's the same kind of paint I use. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, that's phew. That's a tough word. Phew. Now I'm sweating. <laughs> anyway, I mean, each year, Jacqueline, we try something different when we paint our pumpkins. Like we use a cotton ball or a sponge or a paintbrush when we're painting our pumpkins purple. That's a great idea. And maybe some of our friends out there could send us picture, pictures of their purple pumpkins and I can post them on Epilepsy Toronto's Facebook page. Oh, that's sweet. I mean, because you are the person who posts the photos on Epilepsy Toronto's Facebook job. It's something that you do, right? You got it, Lily. Oh, well, uh, and, and, and I can share some on my Instagram account too. I mean, I would love to see what um, everybody's purple pumpkins are looking like. So uh, friends out there, don't forget to send the, the photos to Jacqueline. Um, and you can send them to her at Jacqueline. That's J-A-K-L-Y-N-N. -N. I'm just looking at epilepsytoronto.org. And she'll make sure they get posted. I sure will. And I can't wait to see all of your amazing purple pumpkins. All right. So while we were talking about all of these purple pumpkins, Lily, um, I think we finished our cookie dough. Oh, wow. Let me see. Yeah, let's take a little oh, look. Wow, that's awesome, Jacqueline. That's looking good. But, but Jacqueline. Yeah, yeah, what's up, Lily? The cookie dough looks really great and everything, and but, uh, well, there's no chocolate chips in it. How could I forget, Lily? I am so happy you're here to help me. I, I, I forgot the whole star of the cookie. Ah. <laughs> never fear, I would never forget about chocolate. Yum. All right, Lily, here we go. In go the chocolate chips. Oh, wow. <laughs> and now we have to mix all of this together. Oh, it looks so good, Jacqueline. Oh, now, now, now that you have the chocolate chip cookie dough already, can we please turn them into cookies that we can eat? I'm getting so hungry. I think that is a great idea, Lily. All right. Now, don't forget, you're going to need your parents' help for this part because we're going to be using the oven. So you want to grab a tray and you may want to put down some parchment paper on the tray so your cookies don't stick to the pan, okay? And then roll them into small balls and then put them on the baking sheet. And then when they bake, they'll come out looking something like this. Whoa, that's the magic of television. Oh, she's eating it too. Oh, you're really making me hungry now, Jacqueline. <laughs> Don't worry, Lily. I'll bring you some fresh cookies later today so you can have some at school, okay? Oh, Jacqueline, you're the kindest. Thanks so much. Um, you know what? I think... I think I'm gonna make these too. And maybe, maybe I might add some purple Smarties in there instead of the chocolate chips. And, 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 and you know, for Halloween and the purple pumpkin project, and I am gonna drop some off to you. That would be amazing, Lily. Thank you so much. Uh, well, thank you, Jacqueline, for teaching me this yummy recipe. No problem, Lily. I had so much fun. And don't forget to look in the comments below for the full recipe so you can make them at home. And uh, I think I'll add some more tips for painting your purple pumpkins in there as well. Oh, thanks. That'd be awesome. Thanks. And I also wanted to say thank you so much for reminding me and teaching everybody else about the purple pumpkin project and about raising more awareness about living with epilepsy. No problem, Lily. I, I love Halloween. It's such a special day that's full of fun and costumes and treats and your friends. And the Purple Pumpkin Project is a reminder that people living with epilepsy and other seizure related, related disorders all over the world. One in 100 people are living with epilepsy, which means hmm, like over 300,000 people across Canada live with epilepsy. Wow, that's a big number. I mean, that sure is a lot of amazing people, right? And with all these different things like Purple Day in the spring and Purple Walk in the summer and now the 
purple pumpkin project in the fall, we are sh making sure that there are more and more ways that we can make others more aware of those living with epilepsy like me. That's right, Lily. More and more ways to show our purple pride. Ah, well, Jacqueline, I've had so much fun. Thanks so much for being here today. It was my pleasure, Lily. And you know you can bake with me anytime. So I have to get going now because I want to paint another purple pumpkin before my cookies are done in the oven. So I'm going to get going. So bye, Lily. Oh, uh, bye, Jacqueline. Thanks so much. Mwah! Mwah! Oh, wow. Isn't Jacqueline the best? Ah. Oh. Well, I'm glad you think so too. I'm so glad she was able to come on today's episode and tell us about the Purple Pumpkin Project and make us some delicious chocolate chip cookies. <sighs> well, Halloween may look different this year, but we can definitely celebrate the spooky season and use this October as a way to talk about living with epilepsy in our own community. Yeah, I mean, you know what my favorite part now is about the month of October? Well, it's having this special time to spend with you. Yep, it's true. So don't forget to send me your purple pumpkin photos that I can share because I can't wait to see what designs you come with, come up with on your purple pumpkin. And send your photos to Jacqueline at Jacqueline, J A K L Y N N, at epilepsytron.org, or you can send it to my assistant, Katie. <laughs> yeah, that's Katie at epilepsytron.org, or you can send it to me at info at tap .org. I think all those will be somewhere in that thing called the chat or something or somewhere in this thing. And then we'll put all your photos up on Epilepsy Toronto's Facebook site, or you might see it on my Instagram site too. So, well, I've had so much fun with you today and I'll look forward to seeing you next month in November. But for now, Remember, stay safe, be kind, be very, very spooky, <laughs> and most of all, have fun. Well, see you later, everybody. Bye from Live with Lily. <laughs> That's me. See you soon. Mwah!